Hello and welcome back. So now we're going to create our first scene and render it using Arnold and Houdini. And uh, once we successfully installed the plugin, there is this menu that got added and there is also a few other things uh, that have been added but they're not visible yet. And uh, there is two new shelf menus that uh, they're uh, added but they're not visible. So I'm going to click the plus button here and go under shelves. There's this Arnold uh, shelf and I'm going to click again and there's this Arnold lights. And these two shelves um, will allow you to create pretty much all the nodes related uh, to the Arnold plugin. And now I'm going to create a geometry node and uh, load in a mesh. So I'm going to open the properties and browse to the geometry I have. And if we go up, uh, you can see there is this Arnold tab here and this will uh, give us options to con um, that we can tweak Per, um, per node in Houdini. So this is pretty much all the options that we have available for us with Arnold. I'm going to create a grid to use as a ground. And now we have some geometry here. We're going to switch to the out context and we're going to create our first Arnold node. So I'm going to hit tab and type in AR. You can see it's going to autocomplete and this is our Arnold render node. And I'm going to, I'm going to create that node and pretty much we're, we have everything ready now. Uh, the last thing that we need to do is we need to create a camera. So I'm going to click the no cam button here. I'm going to choose a new camera and we're going to position it a bit better. So now we have camera, we have some geometry and sorry, if we change, uh, switch back to the out context, you can see we have the main tab here that has uh, pretty much all the options of what we want to include in terms of objects, lights, and camera. And by default, it's using the object cam one. And uh, uh, the rest is pretty much the uh, Arnold options, which we're going to go through in details in a separate video. So we're ready now. We can hit the render to disk button. And what this is going to do is it's going to send the render to mplay, which is the Houdini uh, native um, uh, image viewer and it's going to uh, let's see so yeah this is the render and this is with mplay now there's few ways on how we can uh, do uh, render using uh, Arnold and Houdini and this is one way to use the um, the render to disk button and there is also the render to view uh, render view here which is an interactive um, uh, rendering preview and we can we have to make sure that we're selecting the proper um, uh, Arnold node and the camera it's going to use the same camera and then if we hit render it's going to do it's going to create an interactive um, uh, uh, render for us and we can change settings on the fly and it's going to update live so I'm gonna I'm gonna create a scene here to be able to um, and select the camera I'm gonna have both of them on. So if I uh, change the camera, you can see it's live updating everything. And if we have lights and shader, that's going to do the same thing too. This is very, uh, very useful for tweaking uh, light values, positions and shaders and stuff like that. So it's this is one way. And then the third way is to uh, use the, the viewport. And there is this uh, button here that says render re region. If you click that and then uh, shift basically drag you don't have to shift drag if you drag it's going to uh, add a render preview on top of your viewport and you can still use the viewport uh, tumbling and everything and the manipulators and it will send the render directly to this uh, to this preview here and you can see it live so this is the second way uh, the third way of doing render and uh, in the next video we're going to set up uh, some shaders and light and start uh, doing some more rendering. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.